bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Tigers have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus, patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Ben Hill Griffin Stadium is the setting for this football matchup. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. Mitchell fields it at the 7. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. LSU staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, I, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. From their own 47-yard line. It's first down. My 12. My 12. Set. Yeah. Grabs it and hammered right there. Rust's the kind of guy that could end up with some national honors because right now he's leading the conference statistically. out of bounds right around the 42 yard line he is such a good target really anywhere on the field but they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations from the 42 yard line first down here we go line in check still throws complete and he's hit hard behind the line boss of a yard they really just didn't have any room to work on that play the defense just suffocated him there plays like this and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Third down and they need to get it down to the 32. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. And a quick throw. The defense didn't stop the pass but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Gets rid of it quickly and that was almost picked. And the defense comes through.
quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Two down, two down. Hey, check Mike 57, Mike 57. Makes the catch and look out. And he's taken down at the 50-yard line. What a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. From midfield, first down. Brought down at the 42. That makes it second and two. Makes it to the 34. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Nice run there. Washington comes away with five yards on the carry. That brings him second and five. first downs and they're executing well but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field they've got to try to change things up with their scheme be more aggressive attack do some things to change it up take some risks did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play that's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss it's second down and 11 to go ball on the 24. Out to the tailback, and he dropped it. That makes it Here's the eighth play of the series. Flips it middle to the running back, and they got him for a loss. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Going for it all to the end zone. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. So they go to the air on fourth down when they needed a big play, and boy, do they come through. And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Bulldogs were ranked 18th. They hope this victory will push them even higher. And for New Mexico State, they've now lost six in a row. Fresno State captures the four-point win. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Rust from the seven. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 39. Florida has really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. down after a nice run up the middle seven yards there on that bit of misdirection that'll bring up second and three a 
A long way yet to go, but at the end of one, the Gators with a touchdown lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. And down he goes at the 38. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. There he goes. He's tackled around the 22-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 25. Just throws this one away. First and goal and a touchdown ties it, folks. saw something upstairs it led to a touchdown you can thank the play calling there very impressive the extra point to tie this game up and he adds the extra point let's get the latest now from Reese Davis we keep your finger on the pulse of the top ten back and forth these two teams go neither one giving an inch we could be headed to a photo finish. The Crimson Tide on top, 3-0. And for the Gators, well, a win today. If that score holds, they'll move up in the national poll. Buckley is lined up to kick this one off. Taken at the five. Gets to about the 24-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Quick out to his receiver, and he is drilled at the 33-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. yardage situation here. Second down and one. They come out in a goal line set. Nice run up the middle.
Tackle at about the 45. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. He's going to try and scramble, and they make the stop at the 46-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 46-yard line. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. That'll bring up third and two. Give to the tailback. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Gain of two yards. That'll bring up fourth and one. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. This will be a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he throws it away. Second and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Slings it. And he's tackled right around the 36-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. He guns it left side. And he's got the junior. Tackle made around the 32-yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Once and all, going deep. Drops it. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. And watch out here. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Number 12 brings him down. 200 Jets! 200 Jets! Ready! Out of bounds, around the 26-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. throw incomplete pass and there's a missed opportunity by the offense this is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime gets out to around the 35 the Gators will use their first time out of the half it's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. 
and we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He goes downtown. The senior makes the catch. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A short two-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown's a result. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. But these guys got to be coming over to the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. And I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast pace, up tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Red and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 31. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Florida is up seven. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Loss of one yard on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 30. He's on the run. Small. Gains around three yards on the scramble. He's scrambling. Good tackle there in space. That's good for a game of two yards. Fourth down. Mitchell back deep to return. He's to the 40. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Nice yardage on the run back. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Makes it out to about the 46. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. some open field brought down around the 31 yard line he's at the 20 he makes his way to about the 18 from the 18 yard line First down. Check, 
What a play, and that is first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Hands it to the back, and down he goes at about the three-yard line. That brings him second and goal. From the three-yard line, it's second down. And he throws it away. So it's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Buckley ready to kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Florida is up four. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a game of yards. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 31. They're packed in tight on the line. Hand off, and he's met immediately. That is a loss of five on the play. That'll make it 39. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Knocked out of bounds around the 27 yard line. That'll bring up fourth and nine. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. And he's tackled at the 46. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. It's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. Butler is back deep to return. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Florida is up by four. They'll bring him down at the 18. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. 
The fourth quarter is going to decide who wins this low-scoring affair. Florida is up by four. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Ball on the 30-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle at the 48. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. Scrambling around. And he's going to be sacked. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. Florida holds a four-point lead. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it 37. And he's hit immediately. Cunningham is going to try to kick this one deep. Let's see if he can get it inside the five. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. three-yard line. Second down. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Just under two minutes in the game. Complete brought down, nothing doing. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. So they're going to go for it here. He fires. And they make the stop at about the 49. First down. Safe to say the defense had his number on that one. 
it can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball in the 48. He's out of bounds at the 49. He sails it long. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. And once again, the coaches decided to go for it on fourth down. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Makes the catch and look out. And he's tackled around the 22-yard line. This is the second time on this drive alone that the defense has stopped him on first, second, and third down only to give it up on the fourth down. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Under a minute left. Got a man and it falls to the ground. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 22 yard line. A great tackle at the 28. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Let's see what they do this time. They've already converted on fourth down twice on this drive. He's looking for six. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. The Tigers are going to have to call their third and final timeout. He takes a knee. in the books. The Gators get the win here. 14-10. As we take a look at the highlights, Kurt, how would you summarize the action in this one? You wouldn't figure either team would pull away and it'd go right down to the very end. This was a really exciting matchup. Florida was not going to win this game easily and they knew that. They had to scrap and should be proud to come out on top. Both teams should be proud of their efforts. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.